Hi, I'm Michael Thompson. Uh, most people know me as the Tomahawk. I've had 39 fights, 29 wins, 10 losses, and I've won 15 of my fights by knockout. Started off with the Queensland WMC title, worked my way up to the uh, WMC Australian. I've just recently got the Intercontinental WMC title, and now I'm hunting after that world title. fight because really it's the only thing I have in my life that makes sense. It's, it's who I am, it's how I'm structured, it's what I do. Yeah, young Michael come into our gym as a 14 year old. Um, I watched him do a bit of sparring over there and I said to Dan we'll take this kid to the top. Um, he was heading off the rails. We straightened him up, we screwed his ear, and um, we've turned Michael out to what he is today. Very, very proud of him. Mikey's like a son to me. He's come here when he was 14 year old. He is a wild little bugger. And he's been family, like you now he's just a part of us all. My next fight will be against Campan. He's a well-rated Thai. Uh, I'm known that he's the South Thailand champion. And he stands in front of me getting that world title. Becoming victorious against Campan will open up opportunity of getting world title. So therefore I'm training as hard as I can. There's no way I'm gonna lose this fight. Training out of the Iron Fist Gym in Brisbane under the guide of head trainer Daniel Bell and the ex-Japanese fighter Masako Fukimori. And with only six weeks to go until the fight that stands between him and his shot at a world title, Tomahawk turns up the intensity to give him the best chance of reaching his dream. Training for this fight against Campan is really starting to pay off. I'm seeing new power, new technique, it's all just flowing real well. In the past of all my fights, I've always, I've trained pretty hard, but this time I've really stepped it up to the next level. I'm really starting to train like that world champ and that's what I'm aspiring to be. There's only one guy still standing in the way of Tomahawk securing the elusive title fight he is after. Training out of Angel Gym in New South Wales under head trainer Phil Bennett comes two-time Lumpini champion seven-time world champion in different weight divisions, four-time Thailand champion, the King of KO's record stands at an impressive 102 fights, 88 wins, with 71 of those by KO. As the only fighter in history to fight and win by KO in 10 consecutive fights at Lumpini Stadium. Both fighters being weighed in the night before, it was the calm before the storm. Whilst the rest of the city of Brisbane was buzzing with the expected war about to come during Australia's biggest fight show, Evolution. Brisbane. 
the Muay Thai capital of Australia and the home of evolution. This is edition number 26 from the Chandler Arena in Brisbane, Queensland. With a card as big as the one Evolution 26 offered, it saw some of Australia's most recognised fighters and trainers come together for the event. Trainer Nugget McNaught gets his fighter Daddy Cool ready for his long-awaited battle against Richard Walsh's fighter Saraceno, while John Wayne Parr preps his fighter Flip Street, now a regular on Evolution shows. It was a star-studded night for the Australian Muay Thai world. Floyd doing nicely, spinning back fist into an overhand right, into a body kick, beautifully put together. Oh! What? What about that? Jumping push kick to the face. Oh, oh. What about that for a rattler? Oh! He wears one right on the beak. And down. Jumping knee, bang, goes the head, right back, almost to the front row. Oh, dipping body shot, beautifully done, beautifully planted. Oh, spun him around with the hook. Oh, Compton is down, and I think he's out. He certainly is, he is out. He now clubbing oh, away, look at the knee, big elbow. Big elbow. Triple treat of elbow power. Big knee, big elbow, and down. It's all over. Just as Daddy Cool and Saraceno get ready to cross the ropes for the battle they have both been waiting so long for, unaware to everyone, a fighter's and promoter's worst nightmare was just around the corner. Kickboxing event with alleged ties to bikey gangs has been shut down in Brisbane after a bomb threat. I was just about to go out to fight and um, some security guard grabbed me and I was flicking him off my leg um, and he just said, mate, it, the show's finished, you're not fighting. And I said, what are you talking about? And he said, oh, it's been a bomb threat, everyone has to evacuate now. So um, we're getting moved along now. Do you want us to move along, mate? So yeah, me and Sarancino, it's the third time we've, we haven't been able to fight, so I don't know what's happening, mate. I don't know. I just got to, I've got more important things to worry. I've got to get my wife out of here, my mum. That's the most important thing at the moment. So angry. Three months hard training of putting into this fight. The first time I was going to be the headline at Evo, the biggest show in Australia, you know, like, there's no bigger in Australia you can get. And it's just wrecked, you know. It was the pinnacle of my career to date and it's turned to shit. So I'm pretty upset, like, I feel like crying, but I'm not going to do it. What all, you know. That's, that's how I feel about it. It's just, Absolute bloody devastation.
with the fight between Campham and Tomahawk left hanging in the balance. And with tempers reaching boiling point, news came that both fighters would meet again in two months on another Australian fight show. This time, nothing would stop them getting in the ring. the right hand, right elbow, and he does so. A unanimous points decision to the red corner, Michael Tomahorn Thompson. Yep, not quite sure, Michael Thompson. I think he'd conceded, but a victory is his. Now that I've beaten Campan, um, my name's in the top 10 in the world in WMC, which is a very prestigious um, sanctioning body. Um, so, that's just one stepping stone, and now I'll be, you know, slowly cutting down, getting as close as I can with that world title. Western will be 